Okay, if you walk onto the streets, I mean, of London, I can't really tell you in explicit detail, but I'll tell you about Birmingham. If you walk onto the streets of Birmingham, and I'm sure this happens here because this is something that's normal now. Every area's postcode is used for a particular gang. And that particular gang seems to own that territory. So if you're not from E17, and you're in E17, and the Muslim brothers of E17, the gangsters, see you in their turf, there's an issue. Before, years ago, if a Muslim saw a Muslim in, an, in their own area, it was a time of joy and delight. He was like, Salamu alaikum brother, you know, what area have you come from? Where do you live? You know, and somebody would ask you, where's the masjid, where's this, where's that? In our time, in this era, it doesn't matter if you're a Muslim or you have a beard or you look like somebody else or you have wonderful shoes or you wear a grand top or you're wearing items that make you bling or make you somebody that's big. It doesn't matter anymore. We don't differentiate between people like that. Our era tells us and shows us, experiences telling us that we live in an era where we look at people in a derogatory manner because they're not from our area. Prior to this, it was either drugs or other issues that divided us. And that was on an open field. Now the drugs are so much that it's each area. So the dealer of E17 won't be dealing with the one in E10. And the one in E1 won't necessarily be dealing with the one in E7. Because everybody has a territory. And you know, this sort of behavior, this sort of want to be a gangster is what I'm here to talk about today. Do you feel like you have achieved anything? And believe me, some of these guys were the biggest gangsters in Birmingham. Some of these guys, when they would walk the streets, people would make salam. Look who's here. And they'd have all these wonderful gangster names. Crack, Yak, MG. What crew are you from? I'm from the Spartans. What crew are you from? It reminds me of a story that once I was teaching in Maktab years ago, and there was this one little child. He had a little confrontation, he had a little confrontation with another child, and they were arguing, and he said, What, are you going to hit me? So that child goes to him, No, I'm going to let you off. He goes, You touch me, I'll tell my uncle on you. So he goes, Yeah, what's your uncle going to do? He goes, Don't you know who my uncle is? He's from the MMK. And I'm sitting there listening to this child, and he's like, MMK. And I'm like, what the hell is an MMK? So I, once they finish their little thing, I call both of them. I said, what's MMK? He goes, multi-mafia Muslim crew. I was like, what? I said, you're missing the M. He goes, yeah, that one's, that's a hidden one. That's like, we don't tell people about that. He goes, if they ask us, we just say MMK because it sounds short. You're not going to go MMK. Sounds better, it's snappy. I go, okay, so what does your uncle do? He goes, oh, he drives an X5, and he just goes around chilling all day, you know, and if anybody messes about, then he's there to sort it out. So, wow, what a life. What a life Allah has given you, man. You know, you, Allah's given you a life, Allah's given you health, wealth. And what do you do? You drive an X5 or a Q7, and you're the biggest gangster there is. You know, tint your windows, pump a bit of bass, and that's it. And every time you go past somebody, what do you do? You put the window down and you look at them and you, you're sitting crouched in the back of your seat like as if you're something special. Now honestly, it's reality. Now have a look at our streets when you're driving up and down them. If you're not one of them yourself, who's doing it? It's everybody's second cousin and first cousin and brother and uncle. And this friend and that friend. And most of the time, if it's not yourself, you're either sitting in that car with them. Because we start to respect these people. We start to respect these people and look at them as if there's something in society. And we start to idolize these people. So somebody has a fight in the street. And everybody's on their toes, oh, do you heard? This guy knocked him out, he was sick, fight. 
And then we go home and talk about how oh, he's hard man, mashallah, you know, he pumps this much amount of iron, so he's like this, he's like that. Oh, and what a punch it was, you know, it was a hook, and it was just one only, and he knocked him out. So what now? He's a don. Right? So he's now a don. So what do we do? Whenever a fight, oh, we better call him. And if you've got his, if you've got his number in your mobile phone, then you're a gangster too. Because he's one phone call away. So somebody comes, or you walk into a shop and you think, yeah, yeah, you think you're back. All right, safe. Let me put my phone out. Yeah. And you call him up. And this is the lifestyle we live. شمس روحي وحي ربي جنتي وحياة قلبي فرحتي القرآن حبي نور دربي وأماني شمس روحي وحي ربي جنتي